Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready. This is Daniel White the Fourth with the Second Coming Watch update. Daniel White the Third is on vacation. This is update number 378. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines, which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First, according to the Times of Israel, Turkish Prime Minister Recep Erdogan alleged that Israel was behind the early July military coup in Egypt which saw the democratically elected Islamist President Mohamed Morsi removed from power. He also said Turkey has evidence to prove it. Speaking at a meeting of his ruling Justice and Development Party, Erdogan said that his government could prove Israel's involvement, and cited as evidence a statement made during a 2011 panel with Jewish intellectual Bernard Henry Levy and then-opposition leader Zippy Livni in France. Asked to comment about Erdogan's statement, an Israeli government official responded with one word, nonsense. Second, according to Russia Today, nuclear fallout researcher Christina Consolo said that even the tiniest mistake during an operation to extract over 1,300 fuel rods at the crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant in Japan could lead to a series of cascading failures with an apocalyptic outcome. Fukushima operator TEPCO wants to extract 400 tons worth of spent fuel rods stored in a pool at the plant's damaged reactor number four. The removal will have to be done manually from the top store of the damaged building in the radiation contaminated environment. In the worst case scenario, a mishandled rod may go critical, resulting in an above ground meltdown, releasing radioactive fallout with no way to stop it. But leaving the things as they are is not an option because statistical risk of a similarly bad outcome increases every day. Third, according to NBC News, with Egypt still convulsing after the brutal crackdown on Islamist supporters of former President Mohamed Morsi last week, Israel has a wary eye on its neighbor and is quietly bolstering its own security. The soldiers who are now patrolling Israel's border with Egypt have the calm focus particular to elite infantrymen. For many years, a peaceful border between Egypt and Israel, the Nizana crossing used to be a place which was manned by the reserve battalions of the Israel Defense Force. Not anymore. Alongside the security fence on the edge of the Sinai Peninsula, now are the Red Berets and polished weaponry of the Paratroopers Brigade. They are among the most highly trained and experienced soldiers in the Israeli army. On one of the most sensitive stretches of ground in the world right now, Israel needs people who can tell the difference between a genuine threat and a couple of people trying to climb over the fence. Fourth, according to the Los Angeles Times, the spiritual leader of the Muslim Brotherhood, who was arrested early Tuesday, will stand trial with other members of the Islamist organization on charges that include inciting murder. The arrest of Supreme Guide Muhammad Badi dealt another demoralizing blow to the Brotherhood amid a crackdown by the military to silence dissent and build support for its control of the nation after the removal of Islamist President Mohamed Morsi. State media reported that the charges against Badi and five other Brotherhood members stem from the June killings of anti-Morsi demonstrators during clashes outside the group's headquarters in Cairo. Most of the Brotherhood's top leaders, including Kairat Shatir, its chief strategist and financier, and Morsi, who was overthrown in the coup last month, are in detention or have gone underground. Much of the group's strategy appears to have shifted to the anti-coup alliance, an umbrella group the Brotherhood organized to protest Morsi's downfall. Fifth, according to CNN, the carcasses of dozens of dolphins, seven times more than normal, have been washing up on beaches this summer, and scientists are struggling for answers to the die-off. In Virginia alone, at least 164 dead dolphins have been found this year. Almost half of those, 78, have washed ashore in August. As of Tuesday, federal authorities say they have recorded 228 dolphin deaths this year from New York to Virginia. In all of 2012, 111 deaths were recorded. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has issued an unusual mortality event in response to the deaths. The declaration brings special federal attention to deaths as something that serves as an indicator of ocean health and may give insight into larger environmental issues, which may also have implications for human health and welfare. 
The Bible says in 1 John 2.28, And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash secondcomingh and like our page on Facebook at facebook.com slash secondcomingherald.